Hi, it's Kathy with City Farmhouse Studio. How do you take a dollar store pair of flip-flops and make an awesome pair of shoes? Watch and I'll show you step-by-step -step how. So to begin, cut off the straps and remove them that go over the foot. This would also be the time after this that you can narrow down the heel area to get a more fitted look in the heel. With the mark at the center of the heel back, mark every seven and a half millimeters going around. When you get to the end, you may have to make some of the marks a little wider or narrower than seven and a half to make it look even as you meet up to the first mark. Line both shoes up and copy the mark locations from the first shoe to the second. Then, with your tapestry needle, poke from the middle of the shoe side, going in about a quarter of an inch into the shoe base. Do this for each mark on the shoe. On the front of the foot, mark the center stitch on each of the toe areas. This is where you will start your crochet. With a slip knot in the hook C, insert into that marked stitch on the toe front area. Pull a loop through the hole and then pull another loop through both of those loops on your hook to create a single crochet. Make a single crochet through each of the holes in the shoe. Be careful not to pull too tight or you may risk tearing the shoe sole. If this happens, just use super glue to create a nice secure bond. Once you single crochet around the footbed, you make your last crochet, slip stitch through the first single crochet of the round. I like to pull that loop tight so I don't get it confused for another single crochet in the future. Switch to hook F, chain one, and if you need to, turn your work so that you are working towards the inside edge of the shoe. This is the way to make sure that both shoes will be mirror images. Single crochet, in each stitch around. Once you get to the end, slip stitch in the first single crochet of the round. Again, I tighten that loop. Chain one and turn. This you will be doing for row three through six. Single crochet through each of the stitches of the previous row, all the way around. When you get to the end, slip stitch through the first single crochet of the round. To see if you've gotten the full six rows, look at the horizontal lines that go through your work. Each line represents one round, so you can count the six rounds going up. Once you have the six, chain one and turn, and single crochet six. stitch in that seventh stitch. Chain one and turn your work. Single crochet in that last single crochet of the previous round. We'll skip two stitches and make five double crochets in the next stitch.
skip two single crochets, skip over that turning chain, and make a single crochet. Skip two more, and make five double crochets. Skip two stitches and make a single crochet. Chain two. Skip two stitches on the side of your shoe body and make a slip stitch. Chain one and turn your work. Double crochet in the last single crochet of the previous round. Skip two stitches and make a single crochet. Skip two more stitches and make five double crochets in that single crochet stitch of the previous round. Skip two stitches, make a single crochet, skip two more stitches, and make two double crochets in that last stitch. Slip stitch in the third unworked stitch of the shoe side body. make a single crochet in that last double crochet of the previous round. Skip one stitch and make five double crochets in that one stitch. Two stitches, make one single crochet in that third stitch, skip two more, make five double crochets, Skip one stitch and make a single crochet in the chain one of the previous row. For round 11 and 12, you will repeat round 9 and 10. Begin with the chain two, skipping two stitches of the shoe side body and making a slip stitch. Round 13, chain 2, skip 2 stitches of the side body that have been unworked and slip stitch in the third. Chain 1 and turn your work. Make 2 double crochets in the last single crochet of the previous round.
get two stitches and make a single crochet. Skip two more, make five double crochets. Skip two stitches, make a single crochet. Skip two stitches and make three double crochets. Slip stitch in the third unworked stitch of the shoe side body. turn, single crochet in that last double crochet of the previous round, skip two stitches, and make five double crochets. Skip two stitches, make a single crochet, skip two more, and make five double crochets in that next stitch. Skip two stitches and make a single crochet in the chain one of the previous row. If you're making a smaller size shoe, like a five or a six, you can stop there and proceed to the heel short rows. I am making a size seven, eight, so I'm going to go ahead and repeat round 13 or 14 again. If you're making a larger size shoe, like a size nine or a 10, go ahead and repeat those two rounds, 13 and 14, an additional time so that you will get to a round of 18. To begin the heel short rows, begin at the center stitch in the back. Place a stitch marker. Count over 10 stitches on each side of that center stitch and place a stitch marker in that 10th stitch. You can remove the center one, so you have two stitch markers. Beginning where you left off on your last round, single crochet in each of the side stitches of the shoe body. Once you get to that first stitch marker, remove it. Make a single crochet and replace your stitch marker. Continue single crocheting in each stitch till you get to your next stitch marker. When you get to that marker, slip stitch in that marked stitch. Chain one and turn. You will skip over that slip stitch, the first single crochet, and then in that following single crochet is where you make a single crochet. Place another stitch marker in that new stitch. Continue single crocheting around till you get to your next stitch marker. When you get to that stitch marker, slip stitch in that stitch, leaving that stitch marker, chain one and turn, 
skip the slip stitch, the first single crochet, and make a single crochet in that next stitch. Place another stitch marker into that just made stitch, and single crochet back around to the next stitch marker. Again, when you get to that stitch marker, make a slip stitch, chain one, and turn. We're going to skip the slip stitch, the first single crochet, and single crochet in the next. Again, place a stitch marker in that just formed stitch, and single crochet around. Again, slip stitch in the next stitch marker, chain one and turn, skip the slip stitch, the first single crochet, and make a single crochet in that next single crochet. Mark that stitch just made. You will now have six stitch markers. When you do that, you can go ahead and single crochet around, and when you get to stitch markers, we'll single crochet in each of those stitch markers. Continue single crocheting on the sides of the shoe body. When you get to the corner of the shoe side and shoe top, skip over the stitch that is the slip stitch between the shoe side and top. And single crochet in that first single crochet of the top. Single crochet across the shoe top, slip stitch in the first unworked single crochet of the shoe side. Chain one and turn. Single crochet around. single crochet in the corner between the shoe top and the shoe side. Continue single crocheting in each of the stitches. Single crochet in each of the marked stitches. crochet across the sides and slip stitch in the first single crochet of the round. Chain one and turn, skip one single crochet and single crochet around. When you get to the opposite corner, slip stitch in the first single crochet of the foot top. And there you go, your awesome handmade crochet pair of shoes. Thanks for watching and be sure to check back on the City Farmhouse Studio channel. Bye!